come to love for it. I'm Elizabeth if you are the Quickly, today our topic is God's will and peace. God's will and peace. That is discerning God's will with peace of mind. Like I've come across several men, several ladies, and I've asked them, they come to me for advice concerning going into courtship, going into relationship. And when I ask them, what is your conviction to settle down with this person? What is your conviction to go on with this person in the journey of life? The commonest thing, the commonest conviction that we now have is, is, is peace of mind. So many people will tell you, and in fact, they, they, that's the only thing. That they say peace of mind is not the issue, but that the only thing that they have used in discerning is peace of mind is the problem that I have, honestly. And these people, they have not done anything, in their, they have not done anything spectacular in their life with this peace they are saying. So when it comes to uh, relationship, they tell you peace of mind. Because when they say they have peace, you do not drag it with them. Since you said you have peace, you have peace, none here, go. And many of them do not even know what this peace is. They think it's a kind of feelings that comes to you as a result of getting emotional massage from the other person. Which is not. They think, oh, this lady is beautiful and you kind of feel calm, you kind of feel relaxed. It's the kind of peace that they need to discern if the person is good for them in the lifetime journey. It's so disastrous. And you'll be doing yourself evil if a guy comes to you and the only conviction he has come with is, he has come with is, I have peace of mind. When you dig into such people, you realize that they do not even know God. They do not even know how God speaks. They do not even have any relationship with God. And that is why they have resorted into saying, I have peace. Don't kill me. If I must have conviction, then I have peace of mind. Peace is not a feeling. It's not a feeling that you derive from the good that is happening in your environment or in your vicinity. You don't, it's, not, it's not even a feeling. It's what you have, irrespective of the bad or the good things that is happening. That's when you close your eyes to the situation around you, you will still have that peace. And the peace that you have that is not rooted in the word of God is not peace. That's not the kind of peace God gives. It must be rooted in the word of God. It must be confirmed with the word of God. And you know, I usually say that whatever conviction you have must be rooted in the word of God. And the word of God is most potent. Potent. Everything in this world will pass, but not a single word of ease will go unfulfilled, will go without coming to pass. The word is the most potent and is the recorded voice of God. So, if you, even if it is peace, then it must be backed with the word of God. So if anyone is saying, I have peace of mind, I have peace of mind, I know they are deceiving themselves and nothing more. I believe you get the message. Thank you. God bless you.